You know, just, I'm really going to with that big bag. Ma, I don't know. I don't okay, know no, anywhere. This, this is not safe for you, okay? Just come inside the car. We'll talk that. Come, come. Let's you, go. Ma. God bless you, ma. I'm afraid. Don't know where to go now. Hard times may have put you down. Honestly, people can do wicked. How can that man, his wife and his daughter, treat you in that manner? To the extent of he raping you and also wanting to rape you again. That is wickedness. That's the height of wickedness. But you know what? I love what you did to him. He deserves it. And in the next world, if he will survive it, he will never rape any woman again. And that woman that called herself your biological mother, that gave birth to you and dashed you out just like that, she must be so heartless. I, I don't think she deserves to be called a mother. She is so heartless. I pray you see her one day. Just calm down, okay? The rest are sure that you are safe here. Hmm? Thank you, Auntie. You're welcome. Auntie, can I ask you a question? Yes, go ahead. Do you live here all alone? Yes, why do you ask? I'm just wondering, oh, I'm just wondering where your children are. If you live with your children. My children are fine. They are with their father in Ghana. But they do visit once in a while. Okay. Your house is very fine. Thank you so much, Auntie. Thank you for accepting a total stranger. Thank you very much. God will bless you for helping me. And today you even picked me up on the road. You didn't know me. You just picked me up and, you know, you brought me here. And say thank you very much. You talk God. too much. Calm down. That's fine. Take good care of yourself, okay? Just like I told you, be rest assured that you are safe. Hmm? Thank you. Let me get to the kitchen. When all is said and done, you'll be wise and strong. Finished. I am pained. I no longer sleep at night ever since we lost our newborn baby and my son. Because my husband keeps blaming me. He said I'm, I'm the cause of everything. Now, he even said I want to kill him the way I, I killed our children. I'm on the no, no, no. But I don't know what else to do. 
Why is he doing all this? Eh? Doesn't he know that you are hurting more than he is? Because you are the one that carried these children in your womb for nine months. You also suffered at the labor room giving birth to them. Eh? Why would you want to kill them? Mama, Lizzie, I mean, don't what you understand these things. But my husband will not. He has failed to understand. But my daughter, why have you not been able to conceive ever since that incident? Is it that he has not been touching you? Mama, that is the problem. He has been touching me. He has been touching me, Mama. There is no style we have not tried. He will tell me, open your legs like this, Mama. Hey. It's wide. Like, there is nothing I haven't done. Hey. Put your leg on the table, Mama. The other time he came and said, just some so that your, your something will be Hey, up. my daughter. Hey. That is why I am confused. I don't know what else to do. It's okay. Hmm? It's okay. I know what to do. I will take you somewhere to check something. Mm. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Don't worry. Mm. Don't worry. Okay? Everything will be fine. Eh? You mean you told Joy to prepare yam and sauce for you for dinner? And she told you it was too late for her to do it. And when you wanted to flog her, she did this to you? Yes. Ah. That witch. She nearly killed me. And when she did this to me, and I fell, she now used her, her, her leg to hit my manhood. Eh? She has destroyed my manhood. I don't know if I can perform again. Oh, oh, oh. That girl wants to destroy my property. <laughs> God forbid. She will not succeed. Mommy, mommy, I told you. I told you that girl is a witch. She wants to kill my daddy for me. I'm sorry, yeah. Nothing will happen to you. Okay. Thank you. Mm, I swear. Anywhere I see that girl, she must surely pay for this. She must surely pay for this. Honey, sorry. Hey. I told yeah. you that girl is a witch. She can't show. Hey. Eh? Hey. Honey. Let's go inside. Eh? Let's go inside. Let me go and check if he's still working. Oh? Hey. Easy. Ah, eh? Sorry. Sorry. Ah. He. Ah. Let me just go and be sure. Mama, I am finished. What, what do I do now? Ooh. Could this lady be that lady curse on me? <sighs> My daughter, this your questions will not solve this problem. I will suggest that you go home and think very well. Maybe you will remember something or someone that you must have offended in the past. You know me now. You know me. You, you gave birth to me. You know I am not a troublemaker. So there is no way I would have 
offended someone up to the point that the person is so upset and laid a curse on me. Let me ask you something, my daughter. Mm. This your husband, Steve. Mm. Did you drag or snatch him from anyone? Because that is the only thing I am thinking that can cause this kind of problem. Mama? Mama, or give me a quick fact. This can call you Are you the one saying this? Eh? Have you forgotten you were even the one begging me to marry Steve? Among all the suitors that came, you, you told me you loved Steve, I should marry him. So, so there, is no, there was no thing about dragging. It's okay, my daughter. One thing I know is that there must be a solution to this problem. Hmm? There must be a solution. There has to be, Mama. Because at this point, I, I don't even know what to do. I've thought about it. Like, I don't even know who this woman is. Why would she even lay across the face? I can't, I can't remember anybody. I can't remember. Anything? No, no, no. Just so tired. Sir. Thank you. I go to something. Just take that bag, whatever you see there. All yours. Hey. Auntie, are you serious? Hey. Thank you very much, Auntie. You're welcome. Thank you. Auntie, God will bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, listen. You know, since you came in here, you've been indoor. And that's not good for you. And I don't mind is it a food workshop. Mm -hmm. Like they say. So I would like you to join me to shop tomorrow. And at the end, I will try to give you 15000 every month. Auntie, mm -hmm. Auntie, you don't need to. I can do anything for you, Auntie. Really you don't do, need but to. But you still need it for your upkeep. Hey, thank you very much, Auntie. Auntie, God will bless you. you God will bless you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What is happening to my daughter? What do I do? Does it mean that because my husband is no longer here, I will not be able to solve my family problem? No. I have to do something. Then why am I her mother? Tochuku is my daughter. I should be able to do something. Yes, I must find a solution to this matter. I have to. Nkechi? Nkechi? Yes, Auntie, I'm here. I'm going out to somewhere. Hmm? Okay. Please take care of the house. Uh -huh. um, you said your mother called while I was away. Yes, Auntie. I hope there's no problem. No, not at all. She actually called because it's been a while she saw me, so she wants to see me, that's why. Mm, this is your mother. Does it mean she cannot spend one month without seeing you? And mm -hmm. she's your sister now, you should mm -hmm. call her and ask her. But I think she's missing me, that's why she wants me to come around. <laughs> eh, yeah. Because you're her last born. Yes. That is why we will not hear what in this house again. <laughs> it's okay, no problem, eh? It's okay. You can go and see her during the weekend. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, but for now, I'm going out. When I come back. Okay. <sighs> Madam, can I talk to you? Please, please, I'm not in the mood. Please, maybe next time. Please give me your time, madam. Your daughter is passing through hell in her husband's house. 
How did you say? Your daughter is passing through hell with her husband's house. Sir, please, who are you? I am Pastor Chike. Hey. Yes, it's true. It's true, Pastor. I don't know what else to do. Eh? My daughter is no longer in good terms with her husband. Her marriage is in shambles. In fact, this is affecting her terribly. I don't know what to do, Pastor. Please, help me. Where is that your daughter now? She's in her husband's house in the city. Her husband's house? Yes. Can we pray? Yes, we can. Lord Jesus. Madam. Yes, Pastor. Can I ask you a question? Please go ahead. Has your daughter given birth before? Yes. She she had a boy, but the boy died. And she got pregnant again and gave birth to a baby girl. But the baby girl died immediately she gave birth to her. In fact, that is why she has been having problems in her marriage. Her, her hold, whole... hold on. That is not what I mean. Has she given birth before she got married? No. No. My daughter was a virgin before she got married. In fact, she never had any male friend. Before she accepted to marry this man, I know what I went through to convince her. So no, 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 please, no. From what the Holy Spirit is showing me now, your daughter has a baby girl somewhere and she laid a curse on her. That she please, 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 Pastor, please. What is this one now? Come, I thought you are a, you, you are a true man of God, though. And you came up with this, your false prophecy. Eh? How can you tell me that my daughter, my daughter who grew up with me, who I raised before she got married, that she has a baby somewhere? Please, or if it's a joke, just stop it. Hold on, madam. I've told you what the Holy Spirit ministered to me. Tell your daughter to go and look for that girl. That is when her problems oh, will be solved. Oh, please. Hmm. Please. While I give you prayers for her. Hey, I don't understand what is going on in this world anymore. Eh? Does it mean that there is no single good man of God anymore? I mean, how can that foolish, deceitful man who calls himself a man of God tell me that my own daughter, my Tochuku, who I raised, that grew up with me, that she had a baby before getting married? Hey! Fear God, oh! Eh? Fear God! If not that I know my daughter very well, that she lived with me in the same house before getting married, this is how I would have started suspecting her. Eh? How? Where and when? How did it happen? Was it in the dream? Hmm. Oh no, I'm These people will not get me. The people that I pity are these young people who just believe anything that any man says in the name of man of God. As for me. They will never get me. Yeah. Hi! What is happening? I went to a man of God to seek solution for my problems and he said the same thing. But who could that girl be? Because I can't even remember having any problem with anybody. Talk more of laying a curse on me. Should I go to Auntie Vivian for my daughter? But I can't even recognize her if I see her. That is if she's still alive. Because I left her at a very tender age. 
But if she's still alive, will Auntie Vivian agree to let me have her after so many years? Or will, will my daughter even believe I am her mother? God, what, what will I do? What will I tell my husband? And my mother... I don't even know her name. I must make a step. There is no harm in trial. I have to do something. Let heaven fall if it has to. What is happening? Why is everybody saying the same thing? The two native doctors I went to see said that a certain girl laid a cross on my daughter. Who she be? And what did my daughter do to her to deserve such? Hey, what do I do? Eh? I'm just a woman. Oh, death. Oh, at this point, I miss my husband. He would have been able to solve this problem. <sighs> but whatever it is, I have to do something. <sighs> Auntie, you're back. Yes, my dear. You don't look happy. What is the problem? Are you done with what you're doing? Yes, yeah, I'm almost through. Please go and finish up, okay? But Auntie, oh, you don't need... Please. I said you should go and finish up. And get ready to prepare lunch, okay? Okay, if you say so. I went to Joy's room and I can't find any, any of her things. Her hmm. clothes and everything. Where is she? Joy has run away. In fact, it's God that saved her. I would have killed her. Wait, wait, Mom, I don't understand. Run away. How? What happened? Joy almost killed your father for us. Killed my father? Yes! How? Can you imagine? I traveled to the village with Isabella to go and see my father. Leaving Joy and your father in the house. Simply because your father asked Joy to prepare yam and sauce for him to eat for dinner. Joy said it was too late for her to prepare it for him. And when he tried to correct Joy by flogging Joy, Joy broke your father's head. Uh, uh, Mom, I'm, I'm sorry to say this. Who cooked up the story you just told me now? Sorry. What do you mean, who cooked up the story? Your father is here now. Ask him. Chiki. Dad. Go inside. You are just coming. I should go inside. Dad, I want to stay here and talk. Okay? You see, you can lie to Isabel here. You can also fool more. But certainly not me. Chiki, wait. Let me understand you. What do you mean daddy is lying? I said shut up. What do you even know? Mom, let me shock you. Okay? okay. Ask your husband here what he was doing on top of Joy the day I caught him trying to rape that innocent girl. What? And I believe that is the same thing he was trying to do to her that made her did this to him by trying to defend herself. But what is all the point? What's all the point? You all have succeeded in driving Joy away from this house. But I promise you all one thing, and I always say this, if anything happens to that innocent girl, you all will not like me in this house. Nobody here will like me, Mom. Chiki, 
You mean what you just said now or you're just joking? Why would I be joking? Your husband is here, of course. You can ask him. You can ask him yourself. Wait, I don't even understand what you people are saying. Uh -huh. Even if daddy slept with Joy, is it a new, a new thing? After all, other men out there do it every day. You are very stupid. Let's see. Come, Isabel. Have you started sleeping with men? Mommy, that's not the issue here. After all, I'm a big girl. And it's not even a big deal. Can you see the way she talks? It's not a big deal. Just look at her. Isabel! Mm? Mama? 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 Yeah. Okay, Mama. And this is how you're paying me, okay? Mwa? No problem. I swear. I swear, okay, mwa, for doing this, you will never, ever see my pants again unless I climb the mango tree. Nonsense. <laughs> Hit you again. Okay. Sir. What? What? Go. Oh, what is it? Will you leave here? What's your problem? Are you contesting me? Bring what I told you to bring. Late 28 times 6 for me. What is it? Who is that man? Which one? That man sitting over there, the fair one. Oh, you mean Steve? Um, he's my customer. It's not quite long he's still coming to this place. I don't know that much. Hmm. So why do you ask? I think that man has a problem. He's always coming here and getting himself drunk. Like he's always drinking and drinking and drinking since I've been seeing him here. So you are not a prophet that can see vision. He knows who drinks and who doesn't drink. Huh? Let's see. It's not like that. Listen, I don't care if he let if he likes, let him drink himself to stupor. What I'm only concerned is about my money. I'm here to make my business. And please. Calculate for me. Then check it 18,000 times five. Plus it with the other figure.
Money, please. Let's talk. Talk, please. Talk about what, baby? As you can see, I'm already prepared. I'm going to my shop, so I don't think I have time for all this. Please. I want us to go to the hospital and run a test and see if God will bless us with a child. <coughs> You're joking, right? No. I mean every word that I said. Huh? Really? Yes. Then what are you waiting for? Let's go. In that case, let me just go and change so that we can go. Okay. Hospital. Am I dreaming? This is hospital. My husband going with me to the hospital. Ha! I wonder who must have talked to him. Hey, God. God, I thank you. I thank you. Hey? Ha! Honey, hurry up! Hey! This is serious. Oh. Honey, let's go. Um, baby, please. I just want to ask you just this question. Are you really sure of this? Let's go, honey. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. 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 let us go you said the fault was not yours, that the fault was all mine. Baby, look at it now. Tell me, whose fault is it? Baby, did God say that you have no spam count? No spam count. No spam count. Baby, where do I stand from? I don't know why. Why? In a situation like this, you men put the blame on women. Why? Why, baby? If you had swallowed your pride and followed me to the hospital for a checkup, I'm sure everything would have been better by now. We would have had our own kids. I would have had my own children. Where do I stand from? Honey, <laughs> Lost mom count. Where do I stand from? Honey, please forgive me. I know I have a problem, but I didn't tell you. Hey, because God. I don't want you to be seen as an incomplete man. Please. Hey. Have you solved it now? Tell me, have you solved it now? You know that when I start taking the drugs that the doctor prescribed, everything will be okay. I pray, oh, I pray it works. I pray it works. I can't take this. I, I just hope everything will be fine because I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. <laughs> I can't say it I have my own children. <laughs> I want to have my own children. Okay. I want to have my own children. I want to have my own children. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, sorry. Good day. I'm I'm looking for Auntie Vivian. Who are you? Oh, sorry, my name is Tochi. Tochi. Yes. There's nobody like there's nobody like Auntie Vivian in this house. A boy like that in this house. Auntie Vivian lives here, so. Are you sure in the right place? Yes. This is the only person house. that lives here is Madame Esther, her family. Nobody like Auntie Vivian. Madam, look here, I'll be up a while. No, oh, sorry. No, Auntie Vivian lives here. No, it's okay. Can I see your madam? My madam, Madame Esther? Yes, let me see her. What do you say your name, Miss Again? Tochi. You wait here. Okay. Where am I, Jim? I'm so sorry. M M M M M M sorry. See, Vivian lives here now. Abi, am I in the wrong place? Why? Isabella, why? Why have you chosen to disgrace me like this? Look at you. How old are you? You're just 18 years. 
and you're already pregnant. I sent you to school to go and study so that you become a better person in life. What did you come back with? Unwanted pregnancy. The worst part of it is that you don't even know who is responsible for a pregnancy. How do I reconcile that? Huh? Why, what, what, is, what is it? Where have I gone wrong? Have I not been a good mother to you? Why, why, did, you, why did you do this to me? Why? Mom, 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 mom. Enough of all this noise. Enough of all this noise. You caused everything that has been happening to this family. Yes, if you have perfected your role as a mother, this girl wouldn't have been in the position she is now. Rather, you put all your energy in frustrating and fighting Joy, the innocent girl. Mom, look at this. She doesn't even know who the father of the baby is. At this age? Dad! I lost the respect I have for you as a father. Right from the very first day, I caught you on top of that girl trying to rape her. Dad! It was because of you that this girl left this house in the middle of the night. As we speak, nobody knows where that girl is. We don't even know if she's dead or alive. Good day, sir. Good day, ma. Yeah. Uh, there's a lady at the gates. She said her name is Tochi. That she wants to see Auntie Vivian. I told her, power has changed hand. That there's no more Auntie Vivian here again. We'll have Madame Esther and her good family. Do you know you're very foolish? Ma? You're very foolish! Yeah. Why did you not tell me? She just came now. Uh, okay. Just go and fetch the lady, please. Please. Yeah. You see exactly what I'm saying? You see the way mom addressed this simple issue? This is not fair. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good day, ma. Good day, everybody. You're welcome. I'm so sorry to barge into your space. I'm, I'm here to see Auntie Vivian, but the security guy told me that she no longer lives here. So I requested to see you. Maybe you could um, have any information about her whereabouts. Well, I don't want to waste your time. Vivian was my sister. She's dead now. Auntie Vivian dead? Hey. Dead. Oh, okay, so... What about her? But sorry, what about the little girl that was staying with her? Well, if it's Joy you're talking about, she no longer stays here. Honestly, I, I don't even know her name. I left her when she was just a few months old. Okay, but so please, where, where can I find her? Because she's my daughter. Huh? What? Wait, Mom, what did she say? You said Joy is your biological daughter? Yes, I, I had joy when I was just 18 and due to the fact that Auntie Vivian did not have a child so I had to leave her with Auntie Vivian and I told her that I'll come back for her. That is why I'm here. So please, just, just help me out. There's no way. Let me uh, just know. You know, since after Auntie Vivian died, um, Joy ran away from this house. Wait, wait, wait. How, how do you mean run away? Run away to where? You won't understand. Too, too many things happened of late. Yes, too many things happened. Uh, um, but I will help you. Okay, I can help you look for Joy. We can, we can search for her together. Yes. Um, are you okay? Mom. Mom. Talk to something. Let's... let's... Why don't you ask your father? He's in a better position to know where she is.
It's getting late. Steve has not even called me, and he's not yet back. I hope all is well with him, though. But why does Steve keep doing this to me? Why? Huh. Maybe see another woman more. Could it be that he's seeing other women? No. Steve cannot do this to me. He cannot do this to me. God, please. Let it not be what I'm thinking, please, God. Let him not cheat on me, please, God. Please let it not just be what I'm thinking, please. Let it not be what I'm thinking. But, but what could be keeping him outside this late? Sorry. Why do you bring him out here? You have to wound me. Sorry, sorry. Amaka, what do we do? What do we do about what? About that customer. Can't you see that he's drunk? And we're about to close. So how will he go? What is your business with him? And what do you mean how he'll go? Don't you know the way he drove into this place? Uh-uh. Amaka, do you expect him to drive home? He will just die on the road. If I even knew his house, I would have taken him. But I don't know. I just pity you. Just thank your God that Priska is not here. You would have explained to her your business with that man. Uh, thank God that Priska is not here. That's why I have to do something. Do you know any hotel close by? Hotel? Mm. What do you need the hotel for? Amaka, just tell me. Ah, do you know any hotel? I think there is one at the junction by the right after the flyover. You see one there. Thank you. What's this girl? What is wrong with this girl? Ah. Tell the KK driver that brought us that he should wait so he will take me home. So, hmm? oh. I wish you would just respect yourself and stop drinking. Eh? Just look at you. Now what next? Me. Oh my, oh my God. What am I doing here? Who's that? Who are you? Check if you were awake. What, what, what are you doing here as well? You were so drunk last night, so I couldn't let you drive in case something might have happened. So that's why I brought you here. You mean you. Augustine, like I said, I just came to check if you are awake. I have. I have. 
have your watch as well. Your khaki. Okay. And this is your phone and your money. Although I took some to pay for this room. I'll be leaving now. Augustine, okay, I think you should change this your attitude of of drinking. It's too much. Like when you drink, you forget yourself and you know something might happen. I'm just saying that it's too much. And please, don't forget to get your car. I'll go. Where are you coming from? Steve, why are you doing this to me? Why? Okay, just tell me. Have you started seeing another woman outside? Come on. You left this house since yesterday and you're just strolling in this morning. Why? What have I done to you, Steve? What have I done that you cannot forgive me? What have I done to deserve this kind of treatment? You make me feel like an outcast in my own house. Why? Okay. Now tell me. Who is this woman that is better than me? Toji, your wife. My wife. <clears throat> My wife. Now listen. Whatever it is going on now, you authored it. You signed on to it. You've dictated the pace. So enjoy it. Now, can I go upstairs? Thank you. Just take things easy, okay? I promise you that this problem must be solved. Eh? Just calm down. Okay, bye bye. Hi. So it has gotten to the extent that my son in law now runs after other women. And he has also stopped talking to my daughter. Hey, Mbam. My daughter does not deserve this. I will not let this one happen. Something has to be done. I have to do something. I have to do something about this. I have to.
Um, hey. Um, get me more drinks, okay? Bring another bottle. Excuse me. Sorry, sir, but I cannot bring another drink for you. You've had enough. Are you all right? No, I, like I said, excuse me. Do you realize that it's part of the money I pay here, what I spend here, they use to take care of your salary? Sir, I know it's not my money, but. But what? But what? But what? What effrontery? What temerity? What? Wait, hold on, hold on. Simply because you helped me go somewhere, kept me somewhere, yes? I'm not going to say we're here. But, but that doesn't give you the right to talk. Wait, does that give you the right to talk at me? Like insult me? Who are you? Sir, I know I'm a nobody, but I'm just concerned about you. This is not right. Like, a man of your type shouldn't be here just drinking. You know, and then you get yourself drunk, you forget yourself. I know how I suffered to take you to the hotel in the midnight. Ha! Sir, it's too much, Joe. Please, just stop. Even if you, you, even if there's something you're going through, but drinking is not the solution. Hmm? Do you realize you've insulted me? Do you understand this is an insult to my person? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. I'm just... Hey, you know what, you know what, just, just shush there. You know what? You know what, you know what, that's it. Don't think this is the only existing bar here, you understand? Rubbish, because I came here, you now... Nonsense, I was supposed to even give you a tip. I'm not doing anything like that anymore. Sir, Rubbish! Sir, Out sir, of here! Sir, sir. Please! Wait, wait. To insult him. What have you just done? What did I do? You just just a big customer. I was just telling him the truth. And what not that truth are you telling him? Eh? And what what's even your business with that guy? See if this guy stop coming here, this guy will just kill you. Hey. What is this now? No, so what? And the truth of the matter is this. I believe I was in my right senses. Yes, I was in my right senses. I knew what I was doing. But regardless, okay, fine. She took me there. All right? Does that give her the right to tell me how to spend my money? What to do with my life? Who is she? What has she in life? What? Well, uh, you say that the day the girl took you to the hotel that uh, you were drunk and you were okay. So uh, why are you saying that uh, you are uh, you are asking yourself why you got to the hotel? I don't understand because that's what you, according to what you told me that very day. Okay, even at that, even at that, what? Oh, uh, shut up. Let me tell you the truth. Accept the fact that the girl saved your life. Look, uh, okay, and, and so um, and, and and if if better, so, be better, better. Let me tell you, there is something about this girl you are not seeing that I'm seeing. And what is that thing you're seeing? Maybe you try and figure out yourself. There is something about this girl you're not seeing. Look, as far as I'm concerned, you heard you're talking braggadocious because I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know, but she doesn't have any reason to what you're talking about. No, seriously, because she has no right whatsoever to talk. Thank you. Honey? You are home already. Honey? Baby. You are home already. When did you come? There is no problem. It's just that when I was at the shop, I stayed feeling somehow. So I quickly rushed to the hospital for checkup. 
I did some tests. What I'm seeing here is confusing me. I don't understand it perfectly well. Please explain. And so you suddenly don't know how to read anymore again. This result. Yes. I am five weeks like that. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Are you joking? I'm not joking, baby. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. Yes, After Lord. so many years of marriage. Ah. <laughs> so finally. I, Frank, will be called a father. Me I will be called a mother. Oh. <laughs> Very big. Very big. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Jesus. Go in there, pack all your belongings, and get out of my house. And I said I am not going. Eh? In case you've forgotten, this house does not belong to you. It belongs to my late auntie, Auntie Vivian. So you have no right whatsoever to ask me to leave this house. The only person that has such power is my father because he is the head of this family. Even if he decides to take such decision, I'm not going anywhere. Look at you. You're not even ashamed of yourself. We sent you to school to go and study. You came back with unwanted pregnancy. And you don't even know the stupid idiot that got you pregnant because you were busy opening your legs for every dick and hurry that comes your way. What sort of person are you? I am eh? the kind of person you gave birth to, so you should know. Don't worry. Let your father come back. You must leave this house today. My father. As for that one, I don't even know what to tell him because he has no shame. Eh? But anyway, when we get to the bridge, we cross it. Hey, hey! Are you this shameless now? You're so shameless, Isabella. Look at you. You're just 18 years old. Eh? But see how you're looking old like a woman who have had 17 children already. Mommy, that's one is your business. So. It's my body, not your body. Why am I even standing here, running my mouth, wasting my time with you? That's why you do not look like your father, you do not look like me. Who did you even resemble, sir? Isabella. Hey! Chimu, how did I come about this kind of daughter? Can you just tell me what happened here a few days ago? Why are you so quiet? What is? Amaka? Come out here. Come and tell me what you told me on the phone that happened here a few days ago. Are you okay? Yes, ma'am. Uh, it happened a few days ago when Steve came to the girl. Joy was the one that saved him. She served him two bottles and when he requested for extra one, she refused giving him. I don't know, they were like having an argument and she went to the extent of telling him that he had a problem and drinking will not solve the problem. Steve felt insulted and was like, he walked out and said he will not come again. That was why he turned for me. Joy, is that true? Auntie, it's true. But I was, I was just advising him. You know, he, he drinks... Will you keep quiet? Advise him on what? As his legal advisor or what? So when you start advoc advocating for him? Do you know what you have cost me? Steve is one of my best customers. And you've just sent him away. Can you repay back all the loss in this job? Auntie, I'm sorry. Will your son bring him back to the shop? Do you know the damages you've cost? 
I'm sorry. What do you think I said to sorry yourself? You know what? I think. What's your problem? What wrong have I done to you? Is it is have I done wrong by bringing you to this shop by helping you? And you just choose to destroy my 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 my, 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 my business. What's your problem? Okay, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, Auntie. You know what? Just keep that sorry to yourself. Um, Amaka, okay. help her to the car. You will find her luggage, let her go with it. And never you show your face again here. Auntie boy. Don't ever again show yourself. Do you hear me? Auntie, Auntie, I'm sorry, Auntie. You can't go, go, just go, go. taste me. Can you get out? Will you go away from here? Nonsense. Drain her. And let this serve as a warning to all of you. When they start seeing so any of your customers, just consider yourself out of this place. How come I get out of this place? Rubbish. Mr. Advisor, I want to advise him. Nonsense. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What, what's really going on? I saw the lady, uh, Joy. Yeah, that, you know, that stupid Joy that you saw, got insulted last time that you came. Yes, yes. I just have just to chase her away. Yeah, she didn't answer me when I, when I beckoned on her yeah, to ask her. Yeah, chased her away. You chased her? You chased her away? Yes. What for? Because I don't want them to get you insulted again. That, 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 that girl did something very important. I mean, that girl is very significant to my life, you know. No, I mean, why? I don't get it. No, no, why? 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 Steve. Hey. Uh, uh. Steve, Oga Steve, please just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. You have succeeded now. You have, you have, you have succeeded in sending me away from there. Just leave me no, alone. No, no, don't say that. Don't say that. Listen, I, I actually did feel guilty, okay? And that's the reason I also went to that place. You know, I went to the bar, you know, to check up on you. All right? Please, just, just, just let me make amends, okay? Let, let's make this right, please. Oga Steve, do you know that I don't know? I don't know what to do. I don't even know where to go. You know, I, I, I just feel like jumping in the road so that a speedy no. vehicle will crush me. No, no, no. I'm tired. No, 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 you will not do such thing, okay? Listen, there's no problem that cannot be circumvented. Let me make you smile again. Please, just follow me. Please. Please. Please, just follow me. Please, please. 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 Where you put me when I was so drunk, huh? Uh, yes, yes, and I just told myself, you know, why don't I make this room a proper reference for true friendship? I don't understand what you mean by a reference for friendship. Well, um, you know, for now, what I'll just say is relax, all right? Uh, freshen up. Enjoy yourself. Be calm. Everything will be okay. Okay. There's no problem that cannot be circumvented. However, I have paid for one month, so need not worry. You have paid for. 
Hey, Okasif, God will bless you. Thank you very much. It's all right, it's all right. It's all right. It's to get you stable. I mean, I'm somebody you saved his life. You know, I mean, if I had gone uh, driving that day, I would have been dead. You know, you saved my life. So I need to ricochet back at you and then make you comfortable as well. All right? Thank you very good, much. Good, good, good. And, um, yeah. Um, this is a hundred thousand there. Go on, go on, go on, please. Well, take care of yourself, whatever you want, okay? If that finishes, call me. I'll definitely, you know, plunge in some more, mm -hmm. all right? Your breakfast has been taken care of, so eat whatever you want. Order whatever you want, all right? On me, okay? Thank you so much. It's okay, it's okay. Thank you, Augustine. I have a meeting. I have to run along, okay? If it finishes, call me. I have to call all right? Take care of yourself, okay? If you need anything, call me, okay? Thank you. Whenever I come here, who is it? And anytime I ask her to keep the change, make her return him. You know what you want to tell me? Don't mention! <laughs> anyway, since you girls are now prognosing on my private effort, I will tell you, he's just trying to call me. We are mm -hmm. still negotiating. You know now. What are you negotiating? Does he want to buy a car or land? No, 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 no. Or maybe he's trying to buy our friend, Neka. Ah. <laughs> Look how he's talking. Bye, you. Mm -hmm. Please. Uh -huh. Hey, this is this. What are you guys discussing? That's my thing. I just enjoy it for you. What did I do to them now? Uh -huh. Ever since Joy left here. Whenever I come to join them, they will just leave. What is all this now? Hmm. Now nah, this is sweet. So nice. I'm so glad you like it. I do, <laughs> baby girl. I do. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Yeah. Azoka. Huh? Hmm? You mean you are pregnant after so many years of marriage? <laughs> My sister, I am pregnant though. The Lord has done it. Like, I am now a complete woman. And very soon, I'm going to be a mother. I get you. <laughs> I'm so oh, happy. I am so happy for you. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. Baby you know girl. what? You're going to be a funky mother. A what type uh, girl? The way I'm looking at you, you're going to be wearing bomb shorts. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Maybe when you're breastfeeding your baby, you will even be twerking. Water, you. Let me ah, let me ah, ah, <laughs> My sister, I'm just so happy. Like, ah, the Lord has finally done it. I am the happiest. Thank you. You don't get choice now. Ah. You go happy for your friend. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you girl. so Congrats. much. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Say, drink up now. Tessie, drink. you're not drinking. Oh my God. Look at what I have done to myself. Just because I wanted to play Zikin now. And I'm the only one suffering it. Just because of love. What are you talking about? Hey. Tessie. Tessie, what are you talking about? We are now in the same boat. We are now the same. People are killing my mood now, eh? My sister. My sisters. Ever since I lost my two children, it's been very difficult for me to get pregnant again. Oh, gosh. I, I have tried everything. It's like pregnancy has completely eluded me. Anywhere I hear there is power, boom, I jump. I have tried prayers. I have tried native medicine. Nothing. You know what? All of them keep saying the same thing. That there is a certain woman that there is a certain lady who has placed a curse on me. What? I'm telling you. Because of something I did to her years back. Azuka, ha. just look at me now. Who did I hurt? Who, who do you think I would have offended? Hey. That, that did this to me. That 
That's not even the point now. My husband has started sleeping with other women outside. Ah, uh -uh, now. Has he got into that stage? That is it. That is it. Hey. Men. Men, oh. Oh. My sister, now what are you planning to do? Because I want to know what is your next action. <laughs> Azuka, if you ask me, who do I ask? As I'm sitting down here, I am as confused as anything. No, you don't. Hey, you, you don't need to be confused though. Kiho zonge me. What? What am I going to yeah, do? Do something. You need to come out of this situation. How? How? <sighs> ah, no, no. I this have is tried too much. basically everything. Nothing. Nothing is working. When I go, they tell me the same thing. One lady, one lady. What am I supposed to do? Who is this lady? I don't know. Where is this lady from? I don't know. So, what, hey. am, what am I supposed to do? God, this is serious. Ah, serious is an understatement. Look at our sister, Tessie, here. Before you know it now, the husband will say, Oh, I want to marry a second wife because there is no child. What? Second wife? No, he can't even try it. If he tries that, I will make sure I kill both of them. Marry second wife. What for? No. <laughs> this, one, this one is still talking. He do, she doesn't even know She's men. She's bitter now. I know. You forgot how you can treat her. Uh -huh. ah, any man that does any rubbish now, she go, hey, what are you want to go? Second Azuka, wife. Azuka, this is not funny. <laughs> Azuka, this is not even funny. No, I'm just going to cheer you guys up no, now. No, no, eh? it's not funny. She doesn't even know men. <laughs> See, Men. see you guys, please just take it easy. I believe with time, everything will be fine. I'm, I'm just trying, I'm trying. Everything will be fine. <laughs> no, 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 seriously, seriously, I'm telling you. Jesus I'm Christ. Telling you. Are you serious? Yes, Madam Friska sacked that day because yeah. of the advice she gave to you. And you stopped going there. Look, exactly what I'm saying, my brother. Exactly. Where? I will not blame her. Maybe she's just protecting her business, you know. At least uh, I know uh, the amount uh, you would have uh, spent in her place, uh, even if you are going there. But I thank God at least the girls uh, made you to uh, go back to your senses. Well, you know, you know, in that respect, I'm telling you, man. And I go I'm now. I would have been gone. No, really, I would not have been here today. I'm really grateful to that girl. I'm telling you. You know, for her, where would I have been today? No, seriously. Where? Like, seriously? Yes. So where is she now? Well, after she lost her job, you know, at uh, the joint, you know, I just decided to, you know, um, take her in. Okay, not into my house, but, you know, but, you know, to a hotel, you know, kept her there, you know. And, of course, I decided to heed to your advice, you know. I, I really want to know that girl. I want to know what, why she's so concerned about my case, you know. What, what, there's something really mystical and special about her. So what are you going to do now? Well, like I said, you know... <laughs> I mean, I just want to understudy her, but one conviction I have is I'm going to take care of her and make the best out of life for her. Well, I, I believe you. At least you are a part of the past. Of course. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my guy, my guy. No, seriously, and I need to know your architect. Yeah. 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 We have someone going, but like, yes, yes, yes. But please, if it's possible, let us have a meeting, okay? Myself, you, and your architect. Oh, okay, no okay? problem. Uh, All right. Yeah, like, uh, 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 All right. It's too much. Don't worry. I'll, I'll call you. All right. Okay. God, what have I done? Why did you bring me into this world? you bring me to suffer? I don't even know who my real mother is. The woman I grew up with died, leaving me to that wicked family who made life miserable for me. Then I met Aunt Prisca. A good woman. But the devil used Steve to send me away from that place. And now, here I am. Here am I. I 
don't even know if Steve is genuine. Like, is he even real? What do I do? I just need to take my mind off this. I'm tired. Yeah, hello. Thoughts. happy
to how are you? What is it you want to talk about? At least first of all, you know, reply my greeting. How are you? How are you? Mr. Steve, please, what do you want to talk about? Since I look, okay, I'm big enough a man to say I'm sorry. Okay, once again, I'm sorry. I've been saying this for some time now. You know, it's been three weeks now. I've been saying I'm sorry. I've been calling you. I mean, <laughs> you barely pick my calls, but I thank you for giving me this audience. Um, you know, you know when I've when I was you know wallowing in my dilemma of always being drunk and then you saving me bring me back to normalcy after you know not making me drive that day and killing myself you know I, indeed I've been grateful but then you know something in me has kept telling me to know this person more to wonder why this person has been so interested in me so concerned about me you know so with that I, I just want to ask you you know and, and please can you just please you know tell me more about you I don't want to talk about myself. It makes me feel bad. So please, just change the topic. Okay. Have you eaten? Yes. I want to ask you a question. I've been staying here now for the past three weeks. So I just want to know if I'll stay here forever. I'm not even doing anything. I need to start doing something. And you just keep giving me money. If you aren't tired, then I'm bothered. Okay. Um, I'm actually making plans to, you know, get you somewhere to stay and, of course, uh, working as well. One more thing. Okay. Are you married? sounded worried on the phone. Well, what's going on? What is this? You have the paper. Just read. Okay. You're pregnant? How? How, 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 how did it happen? me how it happened you are asking me how it happened you have ruined my life you have ruined my life completely you don't even know me you, you you don't even know where I'm from you don't know my parents you don't know my background you know nothing about me and look at what you're doing to me where do I start from what do I do oh, just, just calm down Calm down, please. Okay, you just calm down. Okay. Put yourself together, okay? Um, so what are you going to do about this pregnancy? Just give me money. Give me money, let me abort it. And I say no. You will not abort this baby. No. lost two children in a space of two months and since then my wife hasn't been able to conceive again 
That's the reason I've been so worried. That's the reason I've been drinking and you saved my life. You stopped me from drinking. So you see, you're God sent. And right now, you're pregnant. So please, I beg of you, please. Please, just, just let me take care of you with this baby. Let me take care of you till you give birth. Then, how about your wife? Like, how? Just forget about my wife, okay? I'll handle her. I'll handle her, trust me when I say that. Look, I beg you, I beg you, you can't abort this baby. You will move into my house and I will take care of you till you give birth. Please. To your house? Yes. My house. Please. Well, so baby, um... Because my wife is so trendy, you know, she's so classic, she's got the ABCs of womanhood. I got her these wonderful clothes, all your colors you like. You know, you told me you needed something of this color, right? Those are shoes, you know, luxury shoes, trust me, you like them and great colors you definitely like. And um, with a little or no help, I was able to get, you know, some clothes, yes. Um, of course, I know what my wife likes and I know what fits her wonderful body. Yes, and uh, again, I, you know, did a little stopover at a very, very classic boutique and I got my wife, you know, some nice things there too. Honey, all this for me? Of course for you. Thank you. It seems as if we just got married today. Oh, come on, darling. I am my wife. And I, I love you. Come on, if I don't buy this for you, who will I buy for? Ah, okay. Thank you. Honey, stop now. Don't be in that euphoria of us still quarreling. Come on. You know? I mean, I'm surprised. Like, <laughs> there's so, so much. Thank you, I appreciate them. Thank you. Baby, just thank you. Uh, what else? You're just going to say thank you. Thank you, I appreciate them. They are nice. Guess what, okay? They are nice. I want you to... After this kiss on your beautiful... Oh, please don't even go there. Baby, no. come Oh, on. so you come were on. trying to bribe me I with all this, right? I am not trying to bribe you. I'm just telling you to stand no, up. No, that's what it is stand now. Stand up. Please don't. Don't even Honey, start. Come, come. No, 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 no. Oh, is that why you got Baby, me? Baby, come things? now. Oh. Come on. There's a grand finale to this, huh? See, there's this nice place I'm gonna take you to. Wait, huh? I don't want oh, Baby, don't come want on, come you. on, come on. We're just gonna like be in you. one place. We're gonna oh. travel. Okay, we're gonna travel to you and I. Okay, it's really oh, nice. Deep, okay. We're gonna go hot so deep, baby. Oh, so I deep. Don't like baby, this. come on. You were just trying to bribe baby, I'm me. not bribing you, okay? I'm just trying to remind you of some sweet things you have in here. Huh? Baby, but you come. know I don't like You don't like it. what, I huh? Like baby, you stop, go. okay? Whatever it is, just keep telling me, stop it, I like it. Stop okay? it, I don't like it. Stop it, I like it. That's what you have to keep saying. Say, stop it, I like it. Stop it, I don't. Is it you're still awake? Yes. Um, um, we, we need to talk. Oh, honey, what is it that cannot wait till tomorrow morning? I'm really feeling sleepy. Please, please, my love. Um, tomorrow might be too late. Okay. I mean, I, I feel this is the right time. You know, for proper audience. I'm sorry. Okay. What is it? Are you 
listen. Now listen to what is the okay. stock. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> see. Uh -uh. <sighs> yeah. Um, you see. Honey, what's going on? You said this, you see, like two times. What's, what's happening? Yes, yes. Uh, um, you see, so, some, some things sometimes happen, all right? And, and, and life is all about chances and changes, and, 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 and you know, things happen, you know, we feel are wrong, but right in the sight of God, mm -hmm. you know. Um, 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 Man proposes, God disposes. Honey, what are you saying? You're just beating around the bush. You're not making any sense. <laughs> what, what, what are you going straight okay. to the point, All please? Right. Okay. Um, 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 what, I'm, what I'm trying to say, in essence, is um, you, you remember when, when you know, I, I was always drunk. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, you know, when I was always worried. And of course, you have noticed, you know, months now I haven't <laughs> been yeah. drinking. Mm -hmm. I've not been coming home late. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, this is because I, I got myself into a kind of situation. You know, yes, yes. Okay. Of which, uh, one of the days I was actually drunk. And, you know, if I had gone behind the steering to drive back home, trust me, I would have been dead. We wouldn't be having this conversation. God right forbid. Now. Yes, God forbid. <sighs> and, 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 and the person who, who actually made this happen, you know, uh, you know, stopped me from actually driving that day I was drunk. Oh, yes. it was summer return. Yes, yes, oh. yes, yes. God bless the person. Huh? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, God, God, bless God bless the person. person yes, yes. yes. Um, um, so you see, um, after after that event, okay, after that event, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of got intrigued and I wanted to know her. You know, we, we now... You know, I started asking questions, we started talking, started seeing each other, you know, and we started, you know, you know, getting, you know, to know each other. And, um... Uh -huh. yes. Um, in, in getting to know her, you know, and us, you know, talking, um, yeah, and, um, yeah, um, Yes, what is with this? Um, um, go straight to the point. Yes. Um, the, the, the truth of the matter is that she's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve, you are always so funny. <laughs> this is my husband. You should have been a comedian, honestly. <laughs> um, no, I don't want to believe I heard you clearly. But wait, were you, were you actually talking to me? She's pregnant. For real. I knew it. Steve. You are so heartless and wicked. Uh -huh. <laughs> now everything is adding up. That was why you bought me those expensive gifts. Just to shut me up. <sighs> Steve, do you know one thing about you? You lie with a very straight face. You lie and you just do these things with just keeping this innocent face. Ah, Steve, do you even have a heart? What have I done to you? What? No, what, what have I done to you? Is it because we lost our son because of my mistake? But I apologized. Ah, Steve. You got another woman pregnant just to punish me. And, and you think this is the best form of punishment?
Mr. Steve Njoko. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, perfect husband. What a perfect gift you have given me. Thank you. At least I'll be able to sleep well. Thank you. Congratulations. You know, by this time you should actually applaud yourself. You are doing well. In fact, you have done well. Congratulations. What is this? What is what? What? No, seriously, what is this? Look, for three days now I've been talking to you. For three days I've been pleading. Trying to talk to you. I mean, you're not ricocheting anything back at me. You've just been all mute. So what is this? What's this? You're being on a high horse. What is going on? Why are you behaving like some devil? Oh yes, I am the devil. And you know what? You made me the devil. You brought out the devil in me. And you sit down here and talk about forgiveness. That will never happen. It will never happen. It will never happen. You heard me. Okay. <clears throat> Joy is moving in. She has my child in her, and I say she's moving in. She will move in with my unborn child into the house of the unborn child's father to be born within this circuit yes and there's nothing you can do about it all right that is on period and i'll tell you this if anything happens to her trust me when i say this without missing words candidly i'll kill you if you do not like what is about to be done or what is going to go on or what will be do yourself that favor pack your things and leave my house thank you liar you lie you lie because I am going nowhere. And there is no way that fool will step her feet into this house. Else! I reserve my comment. Same girl, she's pregnant for you? Yep. Of course she's pregnant. Yeah. That's it. It is what it is, man. And uh, who is going to take care of the baby? What kind of question is that? Me, of course. Yes, I'll take care of the baby. I mean, I mean I've uh, asked uh, Joy and she has said, um, you know, she's going to keep the baby and I'll take care of them until she gives birth. That's it. Oh wow. Oh wow. You got that severe. But wait, oh, let me ask you my guy. This girl in question, do you even know her parents? 
enjoy experience. Bro, you know, my good friend, I've asked Joy several about her parents, but, you know. Bro, the truth of the matter is this, okay? I have severally asked Joy about her parents, okay? But she's never said a thing about them. Yeah. Meaning, meaning what? But let me ask you, what about your wife? Did she know about it or didn't tell her about that? My wife? Well, um, yeah. She's been naturally uncomfortable. She's been shouting. She's been raking, trying to raise the roof off. But you know what? I am the man. Okay? I am the man and that is it. It is what it is. There's nothing that's going to go on. She's going to come into my house. Joy will move in and she will have the baby. That is it. My word is born. Simple. We do. Let me ask you. Are you sure this girl she's going to be comfortable in your house? Of course she'll be comfortable in my house. Nothing will happen. I know what I'm asking you. I know what I'm saying. If you're not in control of your own house, I'm in control of mine. Okay? Joy will move in. And my wife will do nothing and that baby will come out. Simple. No, seriously, what's, what's that are you on? Huh? You're happy for me and at the same time you're telling me it's not good. It's what okay, are you talking about? No problem, no problem. I won't say anything again. Okay, it's okay. That is my child and we have to toast to my child coming through. Yeah, if you say so, I'm I happy say for so. You, look at you, you, you should be happy for me. Drink up. You should be happy for me. I know I, behind I, you, you don't I feel happy, happy for me. No, 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 no. no. You're acting like you're not. You're on my side, but you're asking well, me too many questions, no man. I'm not asking you again, but good, I'm Good, good. Then drink. So it's been you. Ma, do you remember me? Ma, I am the girl that came to your shop to buy juice and wine when you were sitting absent minded. I was trying to talk to you, but then you harassed me. Oh, really? So, you've been the one messing around with my husband? No, ma. <laughs> what? What's no, ma? But uh, that is what it is. Hey, madam, eh? So, do, since you came last, since that day you came, we do not see you again. I will hear you are Joy's mother. Is she back? Back, what? Joy can never come to this house again. She will never step her foot in this house again. Not after all the suffering she has been through in this house. That girl has gone awful. That girl has suffered. They suffered that girl to the, to the bone marrow. That girl suffered too much now, madam. She suffered too much. She suffered. Oh, the job is. So, do you have any idea where she might be? 
and I don't have any idea. But Madam, the issue is, why did you, didn't you come since? Can me there since, since how many years? Nobody see you. It's a long story, and you won't understand. Okay, what of what of Madam? What of your Madam and her husband? My Madam is out. The wicked daughter, God punish her. She got pregnant with one man that has four children already. And the wicked mother again dashed out to the, to the, to the man. But Chike, the good one, that always stands for joy, is always standing for joy every time. He got scholarship. So I'm talking to you now, Chike is studying in UK. <laughs> then the wicked one, Ometebulu, my Oga, he's very, very sick now. Very, very sick down to his mother. His apamuna has issues. I don't know if you understand what I mean. Because of all the suffering they did to Joy. Every day, every day. So what, what did he do to her? Madam, many things. I said this girl suffered, Madam. Madam, you should have, you should have, you should have been here. 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 One day, morning, afternoon, night, she'll be crying. It's not nice now. Hi. Do you have any picture of her? I had picture. I had picture of this girl. So, we took pictures together. I but the issue, only small problem I have now, my phone got spoiled. And it was the battery. So my friend asked me, I told my friend, he said, go and sell my phone and buy a battery, a good battery. So I, I sold the phone. I bought a good battery. But when I came back, to my duty post. I remember that there's no phone to put the battery. So I kept the battery, I kept it safe, I'll buy phone. Then, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I need to buy phone to put the battery. Well, then I said the battery back, then I'll buy another phone. Madam, you're going. Madam, you need to find your daughter. You need to find her. That girl is suffering. Look for her everywhere. Open the girl, you have a you have a Come and the gate. Find her. Biko, up no. I found one here. It's easy. It's easy. Okay. Tochi, seriously, okay? Seriously, I'll tell you this, all right? I don't like the angle this conversation is going. Really, I don't. Yes, I'm saying it. This is the truth. Okay, it might be morally wrong what I did, all right? But God knows the right time for things to happen, and now is the time. That is it. What? All right, but nothing changes anything. You're my wife. That is it, too. So be calm. Steve, tell me. Do you intend to make her your second wife? What is wrong with you? Why are you jumping the gun? Why are you trying to jump the gun? Why are you trying to be faster than your own shadow? I just want to know. Just wait until the baby comes first of all. That's it. Steve, I just want to be sure. Well, wait until the baby comes out first. That means you may consider her as your second wife oh tomorrow or something. God. That means it's too early to start discussing this kind of a thing. It's too early to get into this kind of conversation, really. And it's too early because I have a job. I have work to do. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, my wife. Steve, you're, you're not working. Bye. Steve, we need to discuss this once and for all. <sighs> Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. Ah, damn, what a day. What a day. Oh my God, what a day. Steve, what was the meaning of what you just did now? What was the meaning of what? What was the meaning of that attitude you just displayed now? I was sitting down there waiting for you patiently to come back. And you just came back and you walked. 
me as if I don't even exist. And you went straight to go and kiss that girl. Hey, why? Come on, stop it, stop it. Is that why you're ranting? Stop it. I didn't kiss anybody. No, I didn't kiss anybody. I just went straight to her, yes? And I kissed her. Tell me why? Because my unborn child is there. That's it. So why are you ranting? Why are you making noise? Me, Tochi. I am making noise. Yes, you're making noise. Because of that thing. Hey, 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 you will stop it right now. Don't call her a thing. She's a living human being, okay? She's a human being. Her name is Joy. She's the mother of my unborn child. And she's living here. So you take it or leave it. That's how things stand. And please, 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 don't push me. Don't push me. Really? Don't push me. Really? It's okay. We shall see. We shall see. Everything is see. Um, please, what's going on? Don't worry, sir. She's fine. I'll talk to you. She's me. fine? Yes. But okay, but what's going on? What's up with the doctor? I mean, can you tell me something? She's fine, sir. What do you mean she's fine? Yes, I mean, you have to tell me something. At least talk to me. Let me know what's going on. Ah. hospital waiting for her to deliver. Hey, what if she delivers a baby boy? No, I'll be finished. No, God, please, please don't let this happen to me. I still want my matrimonial home in peace. Please, don't let this happen to me. God, please, don't let this happen to me, please. Maybe she should just have a stillbirth. Yes, stillbirth. Yes, that will be better. She wants to come and reap where she did not sow. Fool. She wants to come and take over my husband. By the time she has a seal birth, I'll have my husband. I'll have my husband back all to myself. Still birth. That is what she'll have. Tell me good news, please. Congratulations, Steve. Huh? Your wife delivered a bouncing baby boy. <laughs> You're joking. No, I'm not joking. You're joking. No, no, no. A bouncing baby boy. Yes, yes. Congratulations. Yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Can, can I go see them? Of course. Huh? I'll go see them. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome once again. Thank you, dear. How are you? I'm fine. No, I'm fine. So, how is your son? <laughs> that one. Very troublesome. Hey! This boy is at this age and he's this troublesome. I wonder when he grows up, what is going to be? Mike Tyson. You <laughs> said, <laughs> ah. like father, like son. Uh, uh, <laughs> you should know the husband you got married to now. A lion does not birth a goat. You can say that mm -hmm. again, no. <laughs> That reminds me, sweetheart, mm. when you called me, you were not sounding okay. Is everything all right? Azuka, I'm not, I'm not okay. Everything, everything is not okay. I'm in serious trouble. That girl wants to take over my home and my husband. Uh -uh. What happened? Like, what has she done this time around? 
first, she moved into the house. And my husband said immediately she puts to birth that he will just pay her off and she will go. Uh -huh. But now is a month and a few days. She's still here. So I, I, I don't even know what is going on again. Hey. Eh? Is he planning to marry her or what? That is what it's looking like. Azuka, that is what it's looking like. I'm, I'm suspecting them. I'm oh, suspecting. This is serious. Um, is she around now? Like, if you don't mind, I would like to talk to her. Eh? As if you don't mind. Azuka, you do that for me. Babe, hey, we've been friends for like the one. Oh. I can do anything for you. Call that girl, let me talk some senses to her. Thank I'll you so take much. Over my friend's house. Hey, Azuka, I, I really her. appreciate it. But I'll call that girl. Though, though we don't talk, I don't really talk to her. It's uh, alright, just call her. Just call her. Yeah. Leave everything to me. Me? Okay, just Please. Azuka. I, I always knew I could count on you. Trust Thank me you. Oh, Thank you. Let me, let me call her. Thank you. Ah. Eh. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Good day, ma. Hello, darling. Good day, ma. Good day, my darling. How are you? I'm fine. Um, come and sit down. Ah. You don't want to sit down. It's fine. What's your name? My name is Joy. What a beautiful name. Joy. Wow. Sweetheart, you look so humble. <laughs> Um, though my friend told you told me so many things about you, but looking at you, I don't think those things will be true. Because you look so responsible, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, ma. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, the thing is, come. Just come, please. Um, I want to tell you something. Let it be between you and I, okay? Don't tell anybody. Um, do you love your son very well? Like you can do anything to keep your son with you. Yes, ma. You can, right? Then take your stand in this house. Be the woman in this house. Do not allow any other person to take your position. This mansion is your house. The man is your man. It's your husband. Do not allow anybody to come between you and your son. Do you understand? I don't understand, ma. Go inside there. Digest what I just told you. By the time you are alone, I believe everything will make sense to you. Do you understand? Go. You can go now. I'll cut to you for me. Thank you, ma. Don't forget what I said. How did it go? Oh, hey, Joy, you go. I finished her. I told her everything. See, I said, if I see you here, when next I come, I gave you this up forever. I finished her. Az Azuka. Hey! hey. <laughs> Thank you is so... It, is it me? <sighs> me, Azuka. Azuka, what could I have done Just without you? Days. In three days' time, if you see this girl here, Papa Mabu Azuka. I Azuka, you. I knew I could always count on you. Really? Give this girl three days. If you come here in three days' time and you see this girl here, Thank you so much. You're welcome, my darling. Anything for you. In fact, every woman deserves a friend like you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, darling. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you. At least she will finally leave my house. Look at a small girl. Can you imagine? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is this woman even real? What do I do? Do I listen to her? Well, on a second thought, she is right. I just can't leave my son to that wicked woman. What if she hurts him? Or even kill him? 
And then Steve has not even asked me yet. What do I tell him if he asks? God, I just... I don't want anything to happen to my son, please. I really need your wisdom on this. I really don't want anything to happen to my son. Yes. Okay, what are your plans now? Well, um, I've decided to take the bull by the horn. Yes, I, I must admit, I, I'm currently, you know, falling in love with Joy, and uh, I would want to ask for her hand in marriage. Yes, that's it. I mean, she's the mother of my child, and I cannot, you know, possibly just let my child be in the hands of Tochi. No. The right thing to do is to get the mother of my child in legally. So, with that, I'll take the plunge and ask Joy for her parents and tell her I need to see them. Well, I like the idea. So, uh, when are we going? Well, <laughs> my man. <laughs> Look, I said I'm going to discuss with her first of all. Okay, so I'll discuss with her, ask her for her parents, and then I'll give you an answer. Well, I'm happy with you, man. <laughs> I'm happy for you, my God. Yes, I'm happy for you, at least, finally. <laughs> finally. Finally. Hey. Finally. So let's drink to that. Let's cheers. Oh, toast mm. to good life. Um, good life. Better good friendship. Yeah. Toast More power to, to our pockets and yeah. taking care of our families. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Baba. <laughs> hey, Baba. Baba. You're so cute. Are you hungry? Hmm? Are you hungry? Joy! Hmm? When are you leaving my house? Because you have long overstayed your welcome. And this wasn't the agreement. What was the agreement? The agreement was for my husband to take care of your pregnancy until you deliver. And after that, you drop the baby and leave. But you have put to bed and you're still here. So I, I, I don't really understand what is going on. So you expect me to drop my baby for you? But that was the agreement. So that you can kill him or what? Meaning? Meaning that you are wicked. Chilo. Mwa Wicked. Yes. You are wicked. It is written all over you. Look, I will stay here as long as I want. You are not the man of the house. Did Steve ask me to leave? So whether I stay here or not, it's none of your business. Ah! Will you shut up? Who are you to talk to me like that? Are you stupid or something? You open this, your gut out of your mouth and, and talk to me like that. Are you crazy? Is something wrong with your brain? See, don't you ever, don't you ever try it. You slapped me. I did, and I'll slap you again and again and again if you don't learn your manners. Biangma, it's like where you come from. They don't used to respect elders. But you know what? I am giving you from now till tomorrow to leave my house. If not, if not, it is just one thing. One thing that is holding me back. And that's because you are older than me. That's because you are older than me. If not, I would have given you hot, hot right now. I am giving you till tomorrow. If not, if not, you will see the other side of me. I am still talking, and she's open. What? What? Wait, you mean Tochi slapped you? And she also told me that she's giving me from now till tomorrow to leave this house. Excuse me? Excuse me? Okay. You know one thing I'll tell you is that it's okay. I'll handle that later, okay? But one thing I want to tell you is this, all right? You must disregard whatever she has done and regard what I'm going to tell you now. 
You came into my life. You changed my perception of life. I was always thinking, you changed that. I was always getting drunk, you changed that. You gave me that turnaround, that huge turnaround. You gave me a son. So with our son, things must change. Our son? Yes. At this point in time, you just have to tell me, where are your people? My people? Yes. What do you want from them? I want to do this right. I want to do things right, please. We have a son. I want to marry you. I don't have a father. I don't have a mother. I don't have anybody. I'm sorry, but what happened to them? I grew up with Mommy Vivian. I called her Mommy because... because I thought she was my biological mother. She took care of me and brought me up till this age. Then died a few years ago. But before she died, she told me she wasn't my biological mother. That a young girl had given birth to me in secondary school by name Tochi. So the Tochi girl was pregnant and ran away from her parents and met a doctor friend who introduced her to mommy Vivian. Then she gave it to me and just, and just dashed me to mommy Vivian and ran away after two months. Mommy Vivian never met her till she died. Although she handed me over to her sister, Auntie Esther, and her husband, who made life miserable for me. They, they tortured me that I could no longer help it. I just had to run away. And that was how I met Auntie Priska, a very good lady, the owner of the bar where we met. I'm really sorry, really sorry. So please, just, just tell me, um, Did they tell you anything? I'm like, you know, anything at all where, where this, you know, Tochi could be? I, I don't even know her. I have never seen her in my life. If, 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 we, if we even meet, I doubt we'll be able to recognize each other. We don't know each other. Due to the suffering and torture I went through in Auntie Hester's house, I laid a curse on that woman for giving birth to me and just leaving me there. Look. If I'm to meet her again, I will never forgive her. I will never.
the suffering days are over. All the torments over. This is your home. And today you can boldly say this is your husband's house. I love you. Thank you. What is it? Have you come to ask me when I'm leaving? No. Because if it is, it's not possible. No, no, far from it. Uh, there's something I want to tell you, and I'm sure it's something you wouldn't have even imagined. But please, I'm begging you. At the end of the day, that you find it in your heart to forgive me, please. Hmm. I've already forgiven you. I don't have any problem with you. I forgave you since I came to this house. Please, my daughter, forgive me. Your daughter? I'm not your daughter. I'm your co-wife. I know, Joy. I just want to tell you something, and I'm sure it's something you wouldn't even have thought about. But please, I'm begging you. But please, whatever it is, just Find it in your heart to forgive me, please. It's fine. I have already forgiven you. I'm a very... Auntie, what is this? Auntie, please get up. Please, please, I don't like this. Please, Auntie, just stand up. Why are you kneeling for me? Please, Auntie, stand up, stand up, stand up. I, do, I, I don't like this, Auntie, please. Okay, let's sit down and talk. I am your mother, Tochi, whom you've been searching for. What do you mean? Is, is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. It happened when I was 18 years, and I was still in secondary school. I, I got pregnant, and I had to run away from the house because I didn't want to abort you. I ran into a doctor friend who introduced me to Auntie Vivian. I stayed with Auntie Vivian. She took care of me until I gave birth to you. Honestly, I really wanted to come back with you, but I was scared. I didn't know how my parents would react. So I left you with Auntie Vivian and I told her I'll come back for you at the right time. But when, but when the right time came, I came back and I met Auntie Vivian's sister, Esther, who told me that they traveled and by the time they came back, you were nowhere to be found. 
Ever since then, I have been searching. I have been looking for you all over the place. Until that day, until that day, I heard you tell Steve your story. I, I couldn't believe what, what I heard, but it was true. Since then, I've been, I've been thinking. I, I didn't know how to approach you. How to tell you, considering how I have treated you. What I've done to you and how I abandoned you. I'm sorry. It's not possible. I'm sorry. It's not true. It's true. If it's true, then I hate you. Please don't hate me, my girl. I hate you! I'm sorry. How could this be? Just... How could Tochi... My co-wife... Cool how could she be my biological mother? No. Mm -mm. It's, 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 it's not possible. How is this possible? How can Tochi, my co-wife, like, how can she be my biological mother? The same woman I cost. Could my cousin? Could my cousin? Could my cousin be the cause of the death of her two kids? Ah, I don't even know what to think anymore. Just how can? Okay, if she's my mom. How can a mother and a daughter be married to one man who lives and then who stays? This can't be. It, 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 it just has to be a lie. It just has to. How did she even know about Mommy Vivian or every other thing that I went through? No. No, it can't be. It just can't. Welcome. How are you? Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. Something just went into my eyes. That's why they're like, I'm crying. Not like you and Tochi got into a quarrel? No, I'm fine. You're sure? Mm-hmm. And where's my son? He's sleeping. He's sleeping. And where's Tochi? Maybe in her room? In her room. Are you sure you're fine? <laughs> I'm fine, really. Why not just maybe go inside and, you know, freshen up and eat something? Yeah, sounds like a plan, but... You're okay? I'm fine. You're fine? Okay. You're sure? 
I'm fine. God, please. My daughter, how are you? I am sorry. I am sorry. I'll continue saying sorry until you find it in your heart to forgive me. Who is my father? Father? No, he's not. Then who is? Who is my father? Honestly, I don't know where he is. And he's a married man. I only met him once, just once, when my friend Tessie took me to him for him to help me pay my school fees. Because my parents, my parents could not pay then. And I, I was scared of, you know, losing my third time exams. He gave me the money and even gave me more than I asked for. And that's what it did. I slept with him in the hotel. <laughs> it was months later that I discovered I was pregnant with you. And ever since, I haven't set my eyes on him again. In that case, you are telling me that I don't have a father. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just go. Just leave me. I want to be left alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello? Tochuku, how are you? How do you mean you are not fine? Eh? You want me to come to the city? How is my son-in-law, Steve? Okay, 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 fine. I will come. It's Sunday too late. Okay, I will come. Eh? I just know that all is not well. Hi. I have to go to the city as soon as possible. Inkechi! Auntie, 
them here. Uh -huh. Sit down. I'll be traveling to the city on Sunday. Auntie, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Hmm? My daughter Tochuku sent for me. So I have to go. I don't know why. Hmm? And um, so, when will you be coming back? I don't know yet, my dear. I have to get there first and know why she's calling. Meanwhile, make sure you go to the farm and finish the work that is left there. I will leave some money with you that will sustain you till I come back. Okay? Okay, I'm sorry. Alright, so All you right. can go, eh? Okay. Yes. And please, get me water to drink. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is going on? Because I'm fed up of all of this. What is going on? What's really happening? Tochi. Since your mother came, you have been nothing but teary. You've been asked, and you've said nothing. So please, can you enjoy tell me what is going on? Please. Why all these tears? My in-law. Since you came, your daughter has been crying. All right? Now, I know you're here on her invitation. So please, can you tell us something we don't know? If there is any, what is really going on? She's the one that invited me. But since I came, the only thing she told me is that this young lady seated here is your wife. I was going to Riaz, but she told me to calm down that she will still tell me more about her. But instead, she's been like this. She's been crying and saying nothing. Eh, Tochuku? What is the problem? What is so difficult for you to voice out? Or do you want to tell me in private? Please, I don't want to stay here. We have to settle this once and for all. Yes, once and for all. So you're going to sit down, like now. Sit. Now two of you are going to talk, okay? You're going to explain what is really going on. All right? Starting from you, Tochi, what is going on? Mama? Huh? Steve? There is something I've been hiding from you for a long time now. But it's obvious I cannot, I cannot continue to hide. What is it? You remember that time I went missing, right? Yes, yes. And when I came back, I told you and Papa that I was kidnapped for girl trafficking. Yes, I remember. It was a lie. Hey, Tochi. So what happened then? I was pregnant and I had to run away. Hey! Tochi! Tochuku! So what happened to the baby? I ran into a doctor who, who introduced me to his female friend, Auntie Vivian. 
a childless woman who took care of me until I gave birth, after which I abandoned the baby. Hey, what you more? Don't you go? Hey, don't you, boom? Don't you have killed me? What have you done, don't you go? Hey, what a boom? Abomination! Ow! Hey! After, after I lost my two babies, after I lost my two kids, I could no longer get pregnant. Remember you took me to a native doctor who said a lady, lady cursed on me. Yes, yes, yes. What? Steve here got married to Joy here. My co-wife. It was just a few days ago that I found out that Joy is my daughter, which I have done years ago. Hey, what you know? Hey, you fuck again. Don't you? Don't you? You have killed me. Oh. Don't you? Go, go. What have you done? Don't you? Go? No, 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 what, what? Don't, don't you, like, no, 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 don't, 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 wait, don't, don't you, uh, wait, like, you, 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 you had a daughter, you had, you had, you, 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 you have a daughter, and, and, and your daughter is in my house, and, and your daughter is, is my wife, like, like, I'm, 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 I'm married to, to, Mother and daughter, is, is, is that what you're, what you're telling me? Hey. I'm going to tell you how everything happened. Oh my god, oh my. I didn't even know. How did it happen? Don't you? Hey! Don't you fuck you, Kekke? Me, I don't understand. Is this the type of girl I'm supposed to be here to go and see your uncle? See, Tochi, if you want my uncle to help you, you have to look so sharp. Sexy. Just like this. In fact, look. Bring it down. Hey, come on. Look at you. Bring it down so you look sexy. Let's <laughs> that go. way. Yes. Our bag, like, Don't worry, we'll come back for them. Hmm? Don't worry. Let's go. You are doing it. And that is how my friend Tessie deceived me and took me to that hotel. <sighs> you see what impatience has caused you? The same day you went to beat that man is the same day your father gave you your school fees. <laughs> My God, <don't. laughs> please, 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 forgive your mother. Forgive me. Oh, 
from the depths of your heart. Every curse will be broken. Please, my daughter, please. Please. Don't go. Just stay here. Don't leave me here alone. How can you just abandon everything? Don't leave me alone, please. It's okay, my daughter, but well, you know I can't stay. It is not right for one man to get married to both of us, mother and daughter. It's not right at all. I have to go. You'll be fine, okay? Your mother is right. She can't stay with you here anymore. From everything that has happened, you should understand that she doesn't belong here. Hmm? God, in his infinite mercy, used Steve here to reconnect us all. What your mother should be doing now is coming for our mother when you give birth. Thank you, Grandma. You're welcome. Here is my car key. You can have it. No. Yes. Oh, come on, proceed. And please, I say no. No. The car is yours. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. But, but what I'm about to say now is incontestable. It's from a mother to her daughter. Joy, this is the key to my supermarket, where we first met. You can have it. Let it just be my own little gift to you. My own little settlement for everything I've put you through. Okay, please don't say no, please. Just, just take it, keep it. No, it's okay, it's okay. Thank Come you. Here.
unbelievable. But now I believe what the pastor said. How could I have believed that my own daughter had a baby girl and hid it from us all these years? Hmm. Children of nowadays, you can't predict nor trust them. Oh, parents, we have a lot to do. We have to go the extra mile in raising our children. Hmm. May God help us all. Hmm. But in the end, I'm happy about my granddaughter, Joy. That is one good thing out of this whole Ah, Obun Gwongwo na Texas. Ibulun Gwongwo na Texas. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Obun Gwongwo, I was meaning to ask, did your boy tell you that I transferred him 70 million naira? Yeah, for the second container. Ah. <laughs> okay, that's okay, that's okay. So what of the second container? When are they going to load it? Oh, next week. Oh, that would be perfect. That would be perfect. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Obun Bongo na Texas. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Obun Bongo na Texas. <laughs> Hi, honey. Who was ah, that? <laughs> that's my friend, my business partner. Uh, oh, see okay. See that? Uh, How are you doing? You can see now I'm fine. <laughs> nice to be with you. Ah, maybe I've been kicking more. <laughs> You know, there's something I wanted to tell you. What is it? The doctor said I should come to the hospital tomorrow for oh, checkup. Oh, oh, yes. oh, 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 that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, before I forget, make sure you do scan tomorrow when you get to the hospital. Okay. So we'll be able to determine the set of the baby, if it's a boy or a girl. Ah, come on, we don't need to do that. I already know it's a girl. You already know? Yes. And who told you it's a girl? <laughs> the way she's been kicking, like... <laughs> It's just different. I know it's, it's a girl. True. It's a boy. No, it's a girl. How oh, come on, baby? It's a girl. It's a girl. It's a you boy. Know? It's a girl. It's I said it's a boy. It's a girl. You know what? You know what? If it's a girl, I'm going to change your car for you. Oh my! <laughs> so make sure it's a girl. Okay, uh, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. If it's a girl, you're going to get me um, G Mercedes GLE 63. AMG. <laughs> then if it's a boy. If, it, if, if it's a boy, you buy me Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Uh, I love the way you love me. <laughs> I don't love you. For your eyes, yeah. Mama, she be everything in day easy for your eyes, yeah. Ah, uh, but now you're handy, babe. Now you're handy, babe. If you choose go the way, day, If you choose bad, be day, but man, I'm gonna enjoy your life full to the fullest. Forget tomorrow, one day, no time for darling. If you choose by the day, if you choose by the day, my name will not enjoy your life full to the fullest. Forget tomorrow, one day, no time for darling. Guy, my little cousin. Life is full of fun. 
Uh-huh. Just to play your game very well. I don't want to look good. My kid don't look good. Hey, yeah. I'm a jackie. Get it to where you want in this life. There you are. Use what you have. Get what you don't have. Enjoy your life to the fullest. Forget tomorrow. One day. No time for darling. Can you believe it? Just to so one day. If you choose by the day, man, I'm gonna enjoy your life to the fullest. Forget tomorrow, one day. No time for darling. Can you believe it? So one day. 